Hi, today we're going to do the laws of the locks and we're going to solve for x using locks. Logarithm. So let's say now, when you talk of locks, we talk of something that looks like this, which this is the base and this is the variable or a number. So now, The law one of logs says that if you are going to have log of base A and value B, which the value B multiply by the value Y, to expand this, we will say the log of A and value b plus log of base a and the value y so an example will be the log of base 3 of 5x to expand this we'll say log of base 3 5 plus log of base 3 and x. Law number 2 of logs is log base A with x over y like this. So to expand this, we'll have log base A of x minus log base A of y. An example will be log of base 4 into 5 over x. To expand, we'll have log of 4 and value 5 minus log of base 4 with x. Law number 3 of logs is having log of base A with x to the power m. So this you can write it as, so meaning that this m here is a power, you'll drop it here. So you'll have m log of base a and x. So an example would be log base 7 into x to the power 4 y, which we're going to start with low 1 and expand this and say log base 7 x to the power 4 plus log base 7 y so because we have to the power 4 we want to drop it here so we'll have 4 log base 7 x plus log base 7 y so now we're going to solve the equation using logs so you have log of base 5 of x is equal to 2 and you want to solve for x so remember that this 5 over here is a base and this 2 over here is going to be your power what do I mean by that if you have your exponent or your normal 2 to the power x the 2 is your base and then the x is your exponent so the same thing here so now because your 5 is your base you're going to write 5 in this format here and then your power is your 2 so you're going to write 2 
and then it's going to be equals to the x. Now, x equals to 5 to the power 2. So 5 to the power 2 gives you 25. So your answer is 25. So this will be your solution for x. Let's say now you have log of base x of 4 being equal to 2. We know that this 2 over here is going to be our power. And this x over here is our base. So now, to solve this equation, we're going to start with our base, say x, and then our power, to the power 2, equals to 4. And then now to solve for x, we're going to put square root here and square root here. So x will be equals to plus or minus 2. But now, you have a solution of x is equals to 2, or x is equals to minus 2. But because x is your base in the logs, it cannot be negative. So the x is not equals to minus 2. So this will be your answer. Let's say now we have 2 to the power x multiplied by 7 to the power x is equals to log of 14. And you want to solve for x. So you're going to introduce your logs. So you're going to say log of 2 to the power x multiplied by 7 to the power x equals to log of log 14 like this so the 2 multiplied by 7 both are to the power x right so you're gonna take the x outside so you'll have 2 multiplied by 7 all to the power x equals to log of log 14 like this then you'll have log of 14 all to the power x is equal to log of log 14 then now if you, what you need to notice is that you can't see the base here so when you can't see the base when the problem is given you can't see the base always know that the base is equal to 10 so now because we have log of 14 to the power x, we're going to drop the x. We'll have x. And then log of 14 equals to log of log of 14. Then we divide by the log of 14. We remove it. Then we have x equals to log of log of 14 over log of 14 and then your answer should be 0 0.0517 hi thank you so much for watching please subscribe and hit that like button below